I'm vibrating. My, 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 it's mail time. Now who might it be from? Remove the great Gonzalez posters by the lobby. That's from X this time. Uh, he still sounds rather untrustworthy, but still. He wants us to peel off the lobby posters bearing your likeness, does he? Well, I suppose we must. Uh, Mario is dying, so let's make him not first. You, should you ever face me again, you will know the pain of utter defeat. You know, I'm actually a little jealous of your hammer. I mean, your skill. But forget skill, I'm gonna try harder and become a champ anyway. Everyone's cheering me on. I haven't talked to you in a while. Hey, Mustache! Are you gonna be Rockhawk? I think you'd even be Prince Mush! A little title match is coming up! My son is so proud of you! He's your biggest fan! And say, what is your little partner today? I so wanted to be Cheese It! Get pumped, Cheese It! The title match is coming up! I'm pulling for you all the way, Cheese It! Yeah, give him heck! Yo, yo, Greg Gonzalez, two questions. How's your mind state? I already answered it's that. <laughs> key? Storage key. A key that opens a door in the Glitz Pit storage room. <laughs> Go to the second floor of the storage room. What's going on in here? <laughs> I need cheese it. <laughs> so a lot of people would have uh, their Yoshi out for this conversation that is about to happen. I kind of want Goombella out. It's dialogue you don't normally see because everyone just like, oh, they get off of Yoshi and then they break this box, but. Uh, someone's been murdered! Oh my gosh! What happened here? Bandy Andy and King K! Oh. <laughs> uh, apparently in the original game, uh, the King, the, the Koopa Sprite that's used here is the blue Koopa Sprite and not the gold one because they fucked it up so they fixed it for this remake. Bandy Andy looks terrible. Who could have done this? Oh, poor King K. What happened here? G Gonzalez, listen to me. Uh, man, don't get near the ring when no one's around. Oh. Andy, stay with us, okay? What do you mean, don't get near the ring? <laughs> Very interesting. Fighters have been disappearing. Bandy Andy goes around, snooping too much. King K is retired. They fucking killed him. <laughs> you couldn't see that. Jolene was there. You couldn't see. My camera was in the way. Did you see that, Mario? That was Jolene. What the heck's going on? <laughs> the great guns on us. Howdy. Fixing for a fight, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. Oh, wait, duh, tootin'. You're up against the champ, Rock Hawk. Now, I want to see a fair, exciting match. So don't let me down, you hear? Now, listen, son. In this battle, there are no conditions. You fight that champ with every trick and technique you got. Now, get in there and win yourself a championship. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going, pal? The ring's this way. <laughs> yeah, uh, you go this way this time because it's a special match. <laughs> Slow down, will you, buddy? 
Why are we going this weird way again? You two wait here. Huh? This is a minor league locker room. But speaking of which, where is everybody? I know he said to wait here, but Mario, we're gonna miss our fight against the champ. <laughs> now for today's main event. Ta the top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez, is finally going to throw down with the champ, the one and only Rock Hawk. First to enter the ring, the Golden Grandstander, Rock Hawk. You go, champ. Rock him. Yee, go, champ. Rock him. Oh, doggies, champ. How you feeling, son? Your challenge is a handful. He don't want a handful of this. Uh-uh, there's only one champ, and it's me. <coughs> Even if this Gonzalez was ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great Gonzalez made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. What's you gotta say about that? What do I have to say? <laughs> That's what. Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Cause now he's gonna get cocked. <laughs> okay, they are like totally ridiculously late now. Uh, I'm gonna find out what's up. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mario, it's locked. The door's locked. We're totally trapped. They're rigging the fight. And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez. <laughs> Hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What happened to the Great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. He fears this cock. Hooey! What a stupefying development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? I'll tell you what, folks. If he don't show up soon, he's gonna forfeit the match. <laughs> Mario, if we don't do something soon, we're gonna forfeit the match. We gotta get out of here. This is a minor league locker room, just as gnarly as the one we were in. If you check the lockers behind the posters, I bet you find old graffiti or busted walls. One coin. <laughs> also, I think this is a new song. Bro, who was gooning to Peach in the minor league locker room? You know what to do about posters. <laughs> I, I remember this little, <laughs> this little like, the hangout room with the TV in it. One. <laughs> it leads out of this locker. <laughs> this is another locker room for the major league competitors. It's opposite the other one. Why was there a hidden room behind the lockers anyway? What could it be used for? Mysteries are totally everywhere in the glitz pit. <laughs> oh, there's a life shroom in there? Oh, we will absolutely take that. Excuse me. All right, everybody. The moment you've all been waiting for. Flushing yourself down the toilet.
That was maybe the grossest thing I've ever done. This is the Major League Locker Room. Our fight is on! That's such an iconic moment from my childhood, just flushing myself down the toilet. Now this upcoming battle theme was one of my favorite battle themes in the original game. I cannot wait to hear this rendition. The moment you've been waiting for, folks. The great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. Looks like we actually made it. And listen to those cheers, Mario. They love you. Come on, let's put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? You rock, man. Yeah, you're the plumber. Relate. <laughs> just listen to this crowd hooting all over the challenger, the great Gonzalez. Will his hammer have hurt me to harm enough to rock the rock hawk shocks? <laughs> now, at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. <laughs> Get ready yourselves to battle! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to make it that loud. I turreted. Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy! Ha ha ha! Your in a state locked up, safe and sound! What? What are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got that, got that security guard to lock us up. Oh, you're darn right I did! I also sent you that poison cake, suckers! That's what happens when you mess with me, baby! You meet the pay trade! So you're the Juke who's been sending us that mean emails about the Crystal Star. Huh? I have no idea what you're blabbing about now. What's a Crystal Star? No, wait. I don't care! I may not be playing exactly fair, but I still got skills, punks. And now you're about to beat them all, baby. Prepare to get cocked! They definitely did an interesting rendition of this song. I like it. It's an acquired taste. I just want I just want to sit here and listen. Then I should do the fight now. I don't have all I don't have all day. I actually only have like maybe like an hour more I can stream today. So I should do this. Rock Hawk! That's Rock Hawk. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. XP is 40, attack is 4, defense is 0. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but, uh, but other than that, he's pretty meh. <laughs> One thing you should know is that Rock Hawk never fights above the board. Carelessness leads to lifelessness, you know. Uh, we are going to not attack and actually charge on turn 1 here. Oh, get, get zap tap nerd. Uh, then what I would like to do is switch it. No, do this. I want to uh, swap partner uh, to cheese it. Uh, she mm, actually no. I want flurry out right now because she has a lot of HP. Uh, flurry is gonna use a po uh, power punch on Mario here. So now Mario is super thick. Uh, and then Mario is going to spin jump. There you go. Damage. Pfft, not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled up though. Because you, uh, you got some ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock. Ow. The titty sucked the blow, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, then swap to cheese it. 
Jesus, Jesus, it's got a gulp. And then Mario is gonna spin jump. Man, you're kind of annoying! How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk! I should have taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. No, well, since it's come down to this, I guess it's got no choice but to... <laughs> Ow. Oh, we can finally use... Oh, jeez, it can't do it from here? That's a little bit lame, actually. So never mind. Cheez-It can't do that. Uh, Mario. Can't jump. Can't hammer. Uh, Earth Tremor does reach. Uh, however, I believe what we can do is swap to Flurry here. And... Oh, she can actually Lip Lock from here. That's funny. What a Body Slam, though. Get down from there, you fool. And we're gonna finish it in style. Actually, no, that won't do as much. I'm gonna spin jump again. And there you have it. No! Alright, Rock Hawk, the champ, the undefeated master, have lost to such losers. I really haven't had the Merly spell activate in a while. I don't know if it's actually, like, gone or not. Oh. <laughs> Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Yeah, I took drugs in the middle of the fight. That's how I won. Folks, this was truly honest. Uh, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely the most legendary, amazing, improbable history-making bout of all time! And the victor of this match for the ages was the Great Gonzalez! Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. Champ's belt. The champ's belt you earn when you beat Rock Hawk. I can't get a good picture of that. I want to get a good picture of that. Give him a hand, folks. The new Glitz Pitch Champ, the Great Gonzalez. Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. <laughs> well, you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as a new champ. Jolene, hand him the fight money. Here's a fight money of a hundred coins, Mr. Gonzalez. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna head, I'll head up and get you, uh, get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champ's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you like to follow me, please? Like, the final boss has been defeated of the chapter, but that crystal star is a fake. Someone's got the real one. Who might it be? <laughs> I feel like in the original game, the poster above the bed was always Rock Hawk, even when you became champion, but now it's gotten Mario. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. Uh, this is- it's your room now, so make yourself at home. You will use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Now oh, then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. <laughs> Mario, darling, we've finally done it! We beat that loud, but... I dare say, that chicken truly had no clue about the Crystal Star. We're still in dire straits as far as where the real one goes. Where could it be? Oh my, Mario, darling, I do believe I hear a voice coming from somewhere. Man, if only we got a gold Game Boy Advance. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
might be a ghost. Oh, I almost swooned. That mailbox SB is going to be the death of me. Discover the true nature of the ghost. So if it's believed, uh, so if that's to be believed, there's a really a ghost? That's rather unsettling. Well, the champion's bed <laughs> doesn't even really look that comfortable. To me, it always looked like I was just laying on a plank of wood in the champion's room, but it does refill star power. <laughs> uh, there is a, a mirror here and a sink. Uh, there's some, like, fan mail and other things. Uh, I don't think there's a star piece in here at all. It's just kind of there. Uh, can I actually interact with this right now? I mean, I can. I can collect a few rankings here. The Great Gonzalez at number one. <laughs> uh, exhibition match. Uh, match reservations privileges for the Great Gonzalez are currently suspended. What's this nonsense now? Is it the work of that eggs? I think they actually made a thing, because that I don't think that was a thing in the in the original. It's like exhibition match. I think what I can do later on is um like actually fight those Lakitu guys again. The Lakitu and Spiny. So I can actually get the Spiny tattle. That would be convenient. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, that's just perfect condition as usual. <laughs> yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old body ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First let that King K agent walk in on me and uh, when I was with that, <laughs> and now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear them. Yep, just like I did to their mothers. Just like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, it's Grubba, so he's behind all the missing fighters. I better lock this room up tighter than a peanut butter jaw in this world convention. And now I'll just go ahead and hide a paper related to that in the desk drawer. There we go. Uh, you know what though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, yeah? good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hawk lost to Gonzalez. His new champ might have to disappear pretty soon, for my sake. You dumb bitch, get out of here! I'm breaking in! I think he's gone. I check out that desk drawer of his. Uh, I believe we want to check the left one here first. Never mind, it's the right one. I think I can check the right one after. Check it out, Gonzalez. Oh, yeah, a machine under the ring losing a crystal star. These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think he's the crystal. The cry, I think the crystal star powers it. If this power is right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck! Oh crud! You think that King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or something? <laughs> they got sucked dry. <laughs> Great galloping gullipets! How in Tom Nation did you get in here, son? Oh, well, slap me and call me Sassafras! You're staring at my secret paper too. Shut up! You make me sick. Why'd you drain King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. After him, Gonzalez! Uh, we actually want to check the right drawer. Inside the right drawer, this is missable for at least right now. Uh, there's a star piece in there. You can come back and get that later, but just remember to get that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go the other way. There's a save at the other <laughs> side of the ring. Save right here. Can I press the right button? And now it's time. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna actually walk around here. I gotta say, y'all a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now that you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take an old dirt nap. Mario, up there! The real crystal star! <laughs> you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. <laughs> you dog tootin'! And you know why? Because it keeps my body young, son. Young, son. Using the crystal star to look good? You're totally vain. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. <laughs> Muscle up! <laughs> Shit, man, the gains! Whoa, Grubba got huge! Hooey! I'm gonna swoosh you guys into guacamole and smack your energy too! Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of per 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 So long as I have this here machine, my body will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Okay, Mario, I've had just about enough of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. Macho Grubba! That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Back to speed is 60, attack is 4, defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. He first increases the number of times he can attack, then he powers himself up with all those all sorts of wild power up moves. Uh, so I'm pretty, it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he powers himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle, this muscle head is that he was just regular old Grubba, Grubba a moment ago. I guess the Crystal Stars really are that powerful. I do think some of these remixes for this game are really, really good. And I do think some of these remixes aren't what I expected. Uh, what I can compare the music that I've heard so far from this game is that, like, this is still a great remix. It sounds a little bit similar to the original. It's just that a lot of the remixes in this game add just, like, a random new piece of music to the composition, like, a new part to the song. So I was hearing it there, there was some other, like, weird, like, noises and stuff coming from the song. What I can compare that to is what Pokemon Masters does, the mobile game, because Pokemon Masters has great music, but, like, there's a ver- like, I'm gonna try and find something as, like, a good example of what I mean here. Hey, uh, I'm actually re-recording this in post because I was, like, stuttering and I didn't make my point clear and I couldn't find exactly what I was trying to make my point on. But now it's been a few days since I streamed this part, uh, and I want to clarify the thing. So, I said the stuff about Pokemon Masters, uh, typically Pokemon Masters has great music, but they tend to add random parts that don't need to be there. So I'm going to have you listen to one of the best champion battle themes of all time uh, versus Iris from Pokemon Black and White 2. Like, this is the, the champion theme of the game and how amazing it sounds.
So you got that, but then when they put it in Pokemon Masters, it's like... Yeah, the intro sounds pretty cool. <laughs> like, hey, that's cool. And then it just goes into a completely different song that's not even the same song. So I'm expecting it to build up, and it goes by, and then like 30 seconds go by, and it's like, okay, I'm about ready to, to have the beat drop here. <laughs> and it's like, it builds up the beat drop, we're 40 seconds into the song, and then it starts getting good, and it's like, okay, cool, they finally started doing the song here. And it's like, yeah, cool, good song, good song. And then I want to hear the whole rest of the song. And then it loops. And then it loops again. To this part. And it's like, why did you do that? Why did you completely ruin the song? Like, it doesn't even get to do this. And that confuses me as to why they did that. If we go to an example from this game, I really like Magnus Von Grapple. I always love the Magnus Von Grapple battle theme from Thousand Year Door. Like, this is pretty cool. There's a nice, like, mechanical boss theme here. And then it loops right there, but in this, in the remake here... Like, it sounds great, I really like what they did with Magnus Von Grapple. And then it's like, right here? It's like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is just a completely unnecessary part of the song that doesn't add anything to the song, like, whatsoever. And it uses, like, the weird- it uses the weird, like, wubs? Like, the wub wubs? Like, you hear that in the saw, that's what, like, modern Paper Mario games use. Like, that's used it a lot in Origami King, and I like it there. But they're just injecting it into a song that didn't need it. As a different Mario game example, everybody loves the battle theme from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Like, this is an iconic and great battle theme. It's nice and short and sweet, and it loops very quickly, but it's such an energetic battle theme that it's amazing. And then at the intro to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, they actually remade the song, like, before you get Paper Mario as a playable character in the game for, like, the first hour of the game. This is the battle theme of the game, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah! The battle theme from Superstar Saga comes back. And it's like in the in the style of the game here. And it's the same kind of thing. It's a very quick song and it loops and it does the job. But then when they actually remade Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, they made a different version of the song again. And it's like weird and synthy. And it kinda uses some of the parts from the original, but then it adds this whole brand new part to the song that I just do not care for. It's like, it's okay, like, it's fine, but it's, it, it's like, whatever. But I hate it when, when they do that, like, it doesn't, they don't need to do that. Like, it, it, they don't need to add a new part to the song that didn't need to be there. Upon further listening, I really do actually like the, uh, the Macho Grubba theme for this game. But I don't like the Rock Hawk theme as much as I did on the original because they added just a random, unnecessary part. That could be an unpopular opinion, I don't know, but that's just how I feel about it. Uh, what I would like to do is another similar strategy. Uh, oh, first, I'm gonna charge. Like, this part right here is not in the original. There's more chances available to attack. 
that's cool of you. <clears throat> uh, we are going to also use our second uh, power punch. Uh, then I am going to... Also, I can collect Tattle Check. Uh, and he has zero defense, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I think I'm just going to jump again. Unless, hopefully, I have time to spin jump properly. Yes, I did. That's some damage right there. And now he's boosting his attack. Freaking sit on Goombella. Uh, I would like to swap to Cheez-It. Uh, Cheez-It's able to do Gulp for good damage. I should show his other move next. Oh, yeah! I already... For I was... Not doing the voice for a while, I forgot the voice. <clears throat> oh yeah, keep it spicy. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzales. Keep on strapping, son. Cause it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. Buffed his defense. Oh, right, now I can actually use piercing blow and be fine. Get super guarded, nerd! Get super guarded! Frickin' Cheez-It didn't even take any damage, because he's that good. Actually, now I can't- since he has a buff defense, I can't even use his other move. Uh, so just gulp it is. And then we can Piercing Blow. <laughs> Doing Giant Stylish is hilarious. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showsmanship and all, and that's gold in biz. In this biz. This year battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. Attack is boosted. He's doing his triple flip and meow move. Alright, he lost all of his buffs, but I also lost all my buffs. Uh, let's see. Can I set him on fire? I can set him on fire. Cheese it, you did good. Uh, Coop's come in. Power shell. Ah! I can't. I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. It ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. Let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. set on fire. Uh, I don't have a lot of FP left. So, let's see. Uh, I think it would be very funny to use the spike pouch, but I don't think I need to. I'm gonna use it anyway. Like, I got no reason to not at the moment. So, use the spike pouch. Like, there's not really going to be any other times anytime soon I'm going to use that, so... May as well clear the inventory space. And of course he goes for Coops instead. 
Alright, well, I can't swap party members when Koops is down. However, I think I can Earth Tremor. They're gonna give me a mushroom? I don't mind. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, I can't Earth Tremor. They carried Koops off! What do you mean? <laughs> there was a freaking anti guy that came in and, and fucking took him. Strider 7X just came in and took my guy. I think I was only going to do 6, and he's going to take 1 damage from the fire, so he's going to be left at 1 HP. It's going to be really unfortunate. Actually, he might die to my Zap Tap, and then die to fire. Or get hit by Zap Tap, and then die to fire. Or my other thing. Bro, he does not like Koops. Alright, well, too bad. I, I kind of want him to die to Zap Tap. I'm gonna make an executive decision and, and defend. Just don't hit Koops and just hit me. Oh, he became do he set up his repel gel. He became dodgy. Ha <laughs> Idiot! Nerd! Fuck ass, bitch! <laughs> oh! Fantastic. No! How'd this happen? How could a perfect mod like mine lose to such a schlub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Grad fought there, son. Great. Fight. Ugh. <coughs> Mr. Champion! No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubber. Miss Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once, by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. My family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired uh, on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubber transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Oh, you're our mysterious ex. Correct, it was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Our first champion, Prince Mush. Ugh. Prince Mush. He, he discovered my secret of power sucking machine. I had him disappear. Any which way you took it, oh, he ain't around these parts no more. No! I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. She, she seemed kind of aloof, but she really just loved her brother. Hey, Mario, look up there, the crystal star. Is this... Am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh! Is that you, sis? What are you doing here? I, uh... I was... I was just, uh... There, there, Mush. It's okay. 
It's all over. Finally. So, the Crystal Star brought him back? <laughs> now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. Uh, you sure you don't mind us taking it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. I guess it's okay. Then Mario, let's take it! Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Probably would have been better to have cheese it out here, but whatever. You got a crystal star! Your star power is now four, and Mario learned the special move, Power Lift! End of chapter! Blitzville's seemingly undersad was a dark, dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange, uh, strange and mystical items possess? I just now noticed, as I read the name Power Lift, that each Crystal Star power that you get is related to the, the thing. Because, like, you got Clock Out from the Emerald Star, which is related to the, the time bomb that, uh, fucking Lord Crump placed in the tree. And we got Power Lift from the this gold one because like Macho Grubba or Grubba used it to like power himself up. And I'm assuming we get the because the first crystal star uh is then from Hooktail. Uh I guess it could cause earthquakes from how thick she was or something. I don't know, but Beldum <laughs> Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. <laughs> Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. <laughs> you do understand we x knots must open the Thousand-Year Door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that we will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him quick to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Oh, uh, go. <laughs> no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. <laughs> Those awful X things have uh, haven't been back to ask me about the map, so maybe they don't care about it anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my. I must be tack again. I don't need to take, go take a third shower. But I don't get a peek behind the curtain. What's the point? If she doesn't get to keep her ponytail, what's the point? That's what I meant to say. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to uh, you to go where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is uh, why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered into my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want you. I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true. But you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain the soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking for like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. All right, fine, I guess. No. So what do I want? Uh, what do you want me to go ask Sir Grotus or Grotus? Ask Grotus. I want you to ask. <laughs> oh, 
Why in the world would Tech want me to ask that? He sure is a weird computer. Can you, like, build me a robotic dick? Please. Oh. Is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? I need to know more about love. Te I mean, Tech. Tech needs to learn more about love. Please give him a robot dick. Also, this is two floors up. Please wait just a moment. There is currently a soldier in the vicinity. <laughs> huh? <laughs> now, Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. There's the room nearby with the green lamp. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Hmm? Oh, is this the uniform? Are you supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. about this. It's awfully tight. Kind of smells a bit. <laughs> Phew. Uh, who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. <laughs> There's a new song for this? I bet I look perfect. We are now a little x naught. Somehow, Pe Peach made it to fit everything in there. And also become, like, half of her size. I think it's funny they added a new song for this part. <laughs> hey, slacker, what part of do not leave your post do you not understand, huh? Mm, what, come again? Oh, you want break? Fine then, carry on. Ah. <laughs> do you smell that, dude? That weird smell? <laughs> you smell nice. That's just wrong, dude. <laughs> what? What is it? Uh, if you have nothing to say, don't speak to me. I'm busy, see? I've got a busy x not clipboard here, and it says do not disturb. <laughs> Let's get to see a back spread of the x not for the first time, I think. <laughs> so there you go. You know, X-Nots are referenced in Super Paper Mario as, like, a little side gag. But it's referenced that, like, X-Nots have their own, like, TV show. <laughs> it's kind of like Star Wars, but it's X-Nots or Star Trek or something. One of the star shows. Uh, excuse me, Sir Grotus? Yes, what is it? Speak! Uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. Uh, what do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm. Something is wrong with your voice, x not Perhaps I have a th I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Now, about Princess Peach, I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are you keep- are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business! Don't forget your place, you impudent worm! Concentrate on getting that crystal star- getting the crystal star, that is all I require of you. We x naughts need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it! Conquer the world? The legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm. Something is odd about you. N no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger or whatever, please excuse me. <laughs> oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world? Talk about creepy. I don't know if that has anything to do with the collecting those crystal stars.
There's no clothes in here. Must be somewhere else. It's a funky looking mirror in there. Off with this thing. Phew. Good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I wear it? Why would I wear anything different? Better get back quickly. Completely undetected. Tech, you terrible machine. Your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I get to play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on the Switch. My One of my favorite childhood games. Sure, there's like a lot of shit going on right now. But I get to play one of my favorite games for all of you, and that what well, that's that makes life worth living to me. So many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan of the world of world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. <laughs> Send it this instant! <laughs> the message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have a busy day. Uh, go back to your room, please. Okay. Good night, Princess Peach. <laughs> and now this guy. Remember this guy? Th that thing's humongous! Everybody hide! Save yourselves! <laughs> Who would have thought that full Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some beauties. One of them should know something about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them and, all, and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. He doesn't know. Yikes, this guy's big and bad. He's large and in charge. He flee. You're scary, Mr. Giant. Bad breath monster. Don't worry, Patootie. Your big brother's here. We'll get through this. Oh, it's Pewdio and Patootie. They're hiding behind one thing. I won't open! Bowser's too thick to get in the pipe. You can jump as Bowser? Could you always do that in the original game? I actually don't know if you could. Be God! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers? You want a crystal star? Ha! See? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Jealous! How rude! I can't do two old hag voices at the same time. Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crone. I am the great beauty elder. Eep! My heart! Don't start on me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Hag versus hag. Awesome. <clears throat> yes, Lord Bowser. You look as if you're dying to say something. Uh, nope. Nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing, where's the Crystal Star? I don't try pulling, uh, pulling rank again. You'll answer not your age. Your answer not your age will determine your fate. <laughs> Hag thing, honestly, in any case, you're too late. The Crystal Star is gone. 
Oh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Mario. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Peach. Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. I'm getting notifications. It's Mario, not Mario. And this Princess Peach, her name is Princess Peach. But your uh, senile, but your senile, senility is beside the point. The princess, uh, the princess of the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get all the treasures, princesses. He, uh, does his dream never end? That jackal! Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! If I find him, I'm gonna finish him off once and for all, I swear it! <laughs> we'll finish, finish off. Finish. So now you, uh, so now you must leave. Oh yes! I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck! Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take vitamins, and win the title fair and square. Hello, Mr. B. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm actually about to end, but hello. I am never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, you rock back! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the racist dude I ever met, and if you ever need it, I've got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby! And that's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your slot open. You have tons of fans, they bet the absolute uh, they absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. I had to go live early today because of work stuff, so I wanted to finish chapter three before I had to go, and it's like perfect timing because I do have to stop, like, now. <laughs> All right, that makes three crystal stars. You ready to get back to Roadport, Mario? Uh, I'm gonna walk back inside really quickly <laughs> before I stop. Like everyone goes back to normal. Champion, I mean, former champion, Gonzalez. Now why'd you give up the belt? Giving up the belt's like water, like a water slide. What kind of swim trunks do you wear? Well, former champ. Uh oh, the flash is out. I do want to quickly go see. Actually, can I go see Jolene? <laughs> You're welcome anytime, bub. Well, I, I'd love to be welcome anytime. Could you let me in the door? <laughs> I want to go see Jolene. Actually, I could also talk to you. Well, hello there, you savage, surly son of a man. You're fabulous, dear. Pardon me. You quit being the champion. Whatever for. What a shame. And I'm afraid I have no need for you anymore. Soon I'll have myself a new champion, don't you worry. Toodaloo. <laughs> I'd love to be welcome if you'd let me in. Uh, can I at least go see the arena? Get to see one of the poker faces fighting one of the fuzz. And there's just one of these security guards being the referee right now. Uh, so what Jolene said is true. You can come back to the Glitz Pit, uh, I guess after beating Chapter 3. I don't know when it actually fully enables. Uh, but there's a whole side story related to the Glitz Pit after you beat Chapter 3. You can come back here and work your way up the rank again. And, like, go back and fight Rockhawk and do all that stuff. And there's some extra stuff you can do there. I don't remember exactly what you get for doing that. It might just be for fun. Uh, I will like... I would like to do that later in the playthrough. Uh, I am just curious. I want to go into the shop really quick. I didn't end up using that item I bought. Uh, we are, like, fucking stacked in the money department right now. Uh, I am gonna buy some Super Shrooms, because we are absolutely gonna need some of these. This is, like, the only place you can get them right now. I don't think the, I don't remember if the Toad Town shop, uh, does, or, like, adds it. But, uh, I'm also gonna get, uh, two Earthquakes as well. <laughs> uh, and then I want to store 
Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the life shroom. There's a side quest we can do related to the life shroom. Uh, honestly, put the. Mm. Actually, I'll hold on to all this stuff. It's actually kind of useful. Is there anything I should withdraw? Um. Let's get rid of the regular mushroom. I can cook that later. And then we're pro we probably won't be using regular mushrooms that often. Uh, with that, though, that concludes Chapter 3 of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh, next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, uh, we will be heading back to Rogueport. Uh, I would like to take care of some remaining side quests. We can take care of some other extra things we can do now that we have the Super Spin Hammer. Uh, we may also be starting Chapter 4. And Chapter 4 uh, is also one of my favorite chapters of the game. I really like Chapter 3, and I also really, really like Chapter 4 as well. Uh, so, that will be that then. Uh, this is all streamed live at twitch.tv slash pokeball35. Link in the description down below. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so, because I do have a lot to offer. Including this full playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. My full playthrough of Born of Bread. My full playthrough of Bug Fables, which are two other Paper Mario-like games that I highly recommend you play and or check out my playthrough of. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.